Attention all units, attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. Attention all units, this is Sergeant Stadenko. We are changing from a Code 3 direct pursuit to a Code 347. Completely lost due to incompetence. Delicious again, Peter. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Come on, that's monster. Why? That's Why excellent. is that so funny? You love that laugh? Uh, yeah, it's an it, excellent it, it, thing. It just got to me, guys. Oh, yeah. I know. Here it's I am, of. and I said to myself, you know what? I, can, I, I thought it was me. You uh, said something to yourself? It, it is you. That was me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh. No wonder you recognize <laughs> it. <laughs> was it. Was it? No, it wasn't Joel. Oh, my God. Hilarious. Welcome to Manstradam tonight, everybody. Uh... It's just us tonight, an intimate evening with Manstradam, so feel free to give us a call at 413-0223. We're here with Don Tibbetts. Hi, you Ben. Peter White is my name. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, who was this guy? <laughs> the, the I, I infam- forget sometimes. The infamous Joel. Yes. Oh, I like that. Joel. All of a sudden, you're an actor? Yeah, uh, he changes it. You have to yeah. put your hand up now. You go, Joel. Jo- is it, doesn't that sound sexy, Joel? Uh, no. So we uh, had the season yeah. premiere. You know, it's funny. We're just uh, chill- no. we're definitely just chilling out tonight. Uh, we had the season premiere last week with some great guests. We had oh. Paul Cormier on. We Monster. had uh, uh, Nick Lavalley on. Huh? We had uh, Patrick Arnold on. Yeah. Uh, great, great time. But we didn't get, we didn't really get a chance to chit chat since uh, you were down in Florida. No, uh, there was no chit chat, but it was a great show. It was fun. It come was great, on, but we only have we only on. have sixty minutes, T. I know, that's right, and that's just I, there's a show like that, isn't it? <laughs> you know what's yeah. funny about that? Because I called you. Well, I think I called. I don't know. Yeah, I you called, called me Wednesday night before the show. You called and, me the Tuesday night because Wednesday night is the show. That's Joel. right. Tuesday was the first anniversary of the pint. That so I was, you know, I was. No, doing that my, was two weeks ago. I know. Yes. but this was yeah. When That's I was when still down in Florida. But he called me saying the celebration of the first year of the pint. <laughs> That's what he's caught talking about. And he was saying how great the pint was. And he's going, yeah, man, there's a band playing and everything. <laughs> well, I found out it wasn't a band. Yeah, no it's band. It's one guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, one yeah. guy. Going, An acoustic guitar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a Josh Logan buddy. Uh, who played there, and that cracks me up because I thought it was a band, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was. You a thought great... it was rock. You thought Molly yeah. Crew was there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a great time that Tuesday. There. No, you had it a great very time. Very successful to yep. the pint, one year anniversary. I mean, yep. I mean, it, 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 that the script couldn't, that the weather was beautiful. Uh, it was, it was a huge crowd there. Well, oh, we yeah. we dropped by to say hi at like four thirty in the afternoon, and what right. happened was we didn't leave till eleven p.m. Well, there you go. You know, when you get involved with the party, sometimes you know, the hooks come in and, and you have to stay. <laughs> I, I was I had raffle tickets and I was hoping to win. Raffle a, I was tickets. hoping to. I, I was hoping to win that nice Budweiser thing. <laughs> there was a nice Budweiser oh, speaker and it threw out some bass and it was pretty oh, cool. Yeah. You could hook your phone right up to it and it listen to music. Bounce you around. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I wanted to win. Didn't. And work. it's funny when I didn't when the number didn't, didn't come up. There was no I number turned left around to do. And I saw Roy. Yeah. And he goes, oh, Don't worry, man. We'll get you one. Yeah. And so I'm still uh, waiting, Roy. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> exactly. You know, and, and, you know, thinking of Roy, uh, a big, uh, a big uh, congrats uh, uh, to uh, the other two uh, guys that uh, that uh, that ownership. Uh, we got Ken that was there uh, that, that Tuesday night, and uh, Chris was there also, a good friend of mine. <laughs> 
which I know him. Uh, him uh, oh yeah, Daddy you and him are real buds. You yeah. guys go way back, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Me and you know, I knew him from another uh, different uh, restaurant that he worked. Yeah, you're and, getting a call and, to you, put uh, it right on so the air. Congrats to uh, the pint on their first anniversary. It was very. It was. I can't wait for the second year to come up. Let's see. T has a call. Hey, uh, Jason Kilburn. How are you, sir? Uh, actually, I'm on a TV show right now. <laughs> I'm on the TV show, The Amsterdam Crew. So wow. I'll, I'll have to call you back there, you meat hook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you later in the day and I'll let you know the seafood play. And uh, I'll call you at, uh, at noon tomorrow. Hi, noon. Jason Kilburn, a great uh, guitarist, a great uh, also uh, horn player. Uh, he works in Springfield, uh, Massachusetts. I have to give right the guy now, a lot of balls. And he takes care of all people's repairs. It doesn't matter. Guitar, horn, <laughs> violin. He'll fix it. Yeah, he's, he's excellent. He's been there forever. He's been a musician forever. Thinking of musicians, I think this caller may have something wrong with his musician. Well, let's so hope. let's find out. Let's Hi, caller. You're first tonight on Manster. <laughs> Hello, honey. Hello, T. Hi, Camel. Nice talk. Hi, honey. How are you doing? Very good, very good. Nice to hear from you. What's happening? Well, I want to know what's happening with you. You have to tell everybody when you're playing so we can all go see you. Oh, this weekend. This weekend huh? we'll be at Salona's. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were playing at the Trussell. No, we did. That's over. Oh. Yeah, that's all over. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is another Saturday, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be at Salona's on Saturday, and it'll be a lot of fun. We got a couple <laughs> new guys playing in the band, so we're most excited. How about that, Camel? Okay, honey, bye. I love you. Rock on, babe. Wow, Camel. She's very nice. Why is she? Go Does she why? go to all why? your? How'd uh, she get the? How'd she get that nickname? I think because when she dresses like Elvira, you like her humps. Really? Really? She's a humper. Really? Because yeah. Camel spit too. She don't. But Camel's still <laughs> humping. Camel's She's a hump, very right? nice Camel's human. Yeah. Very nice human and uh, humpy, well endowed. Really. She, she wow. has a, she's well endowed? That's what I said. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. that's uh, well, that's right. She must have a nice set of camels. No, she has <laughs> no. a set of humps. She's known uh, to uh, break. See, camels have humps. You got the idea yet, Joel? You have antlers. You got yeah. it going? Yeah, tomorrow, uh, next week on the show, I'm going to bring my antlers. She's I known hope so, because you're yeah. a horny Basically, bastard. Camel, uh, camel yeah. My daughter there... told me that tonight, that Joel is a horny bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely c correct. I am. You are? I'm always horny. <laughs> I do what makes you so guys. horny all the time? Uh, it's his chest hair. I don't, I don't know what makes me it all. It curls. I don't, know what, I don't know what makes me all fire. And have two Men with curly chest hair. you get horny that much? Like, oh. very excited? Oh, oh, yeah. Like, when you see a woman? We have a call. Yeah, maybe there it's uh, maybe somebody. Why wanna... do you get horny, Joe? Uh, well, no. I'll tell you. I'll what tell you. you why? I, think you're, I'll... I think you're making Manchester horny. Hey, but... honey. Yes, this is Camel again, and yes, I am. Ask Pete. Ask who? Hi, oh, ask Pete what? Oh, ask T. Oh, ask T what? Oh, are you well in Dow, Carla? So, Camel. Yes. So, wow. She yeah, has we already answer. established that. She said, yes, I am. It's very large. Yeah, okay. she's very good. Yeah. So, good for her. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it's fun. She's a great kid, you know, has a lot of fun following the band, and uh, what the heck. So, in other words, she's a groupie. Uh, could be. <laughs> Let's get back to. Uh, uh, Where, uh, no, no, oh no! no I no, really no. want to get. It, it, are you it, like like? Are you always like you just horny all the time, Joel? Oh, yeah, twenty four seven, Peter. Really? <laughs> oh, easy. Now I'm gonna ask you <laughs> wow. something. Wow. I'm gonna ask you something on the ET. I uh, hope so. Uh -oh. I, you know, I got a free weekend coming up. Oh boy! I might go to this. Uh, we'll have to go to. Uh, uh, I might Element go to the salon you. there. And, Salonas. Yeah, and maybe yeah. Uh, maybe uh, you I can have a handicap sticker. Well, of course, you'll be there. Okay. You have yeah, hit. you'll have fun. Wherever you go with Hedgehog, you have fun. Oh. So, you know, don't think your brain is going to be dented. 
It never happens. Well, I saw you at the Deerhead. You were fabulous. I had a lot Thank of fun at, 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 uh, at that place. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll talk after the Yeah, we'll, very we'll good. get uh, Campbell's. Oh, you guys going to talk games. after the show a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, here's what I don't understand. Um, Your brain? <laughs> <laughs> now, you're a uh, New Hampshire guy, correct? Yeah. I figured you follow all Boston. Oh, boy. Manchester guy. Why are you wearing, and now I, I spoke to your daughter, Kelly, about this, and I was yeah. going to mention, I know she's listening tonight, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Why are you wearing a Baltimore hat on uh, on tonight's show? Because we're the only ones in the East that can make it all the way. You're Yankees American are League gone. East. God bless Derek Jeter. God <laughs> hey. bless Derek Jeter. Well, the Red me. Sox are gone. Everybody's gone. All we got it left is... The Baltimore Orioles. Hi, you're next tonight with T, White, and Moose. Scare caller. Hi, it's Kelly. Oh, oh Miss Kelly. Kelly T. How are, how are you? Long time no see. I called to whisper sweet nothings to Joel this evening. Ah! Oh, well, I, I, I mean, uh, did he want to take you to Foxwoods? <laughs> hey, uh, I thought John. I thought John Eric would like put on some music for us. I thought he was going to answer the phone and I could prepare this all for us, Joel. <laughs> John Eric O'Neill. John Eric O'Neill is sleeping in the other room right now. Hey, um, hey, Kelly. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I know you're scheduled from now Just until. Kidding, John. I, I know you're scheduled yeah, from now until yeah. tomorrow. Uh, I after the show, I can make a house call. <laughs> oh geez, I don't know how Gary would feel about that, but we definitely need to do dinner. You would have been a great date night tonight for all my friends who were out on dates tonight while I was all by myself. Oh, what? I would have taken you to the back room, and we could have met up with uh, with uh, with uh, what's her name, Stephanie. My uh, sister. Uh, no. Yeah, with Shelby who was out on a date, or we could have hung out with my sister Kim who was bartending at the oh. back room. Oh. How do you think, Kelly? I have a question for you. How do you think? Yes. How do you think Joel would have done with his dungaree shirt? That's what Absolutely he calls it. Absolutely fabulous. He looks very, he looks amazing. Men get better with age. I don't know why anyone doesn't understand that, but they absolutely do. But the dungaree shirt is so Robert Redford of him. <laughs> was, don't forget that. I was going to say. I, I was going to say. I just think at the end of the night with me, and my dad could attest to this, that Joel would definitely have a rally cap on by the end of the night. So. I think at the end of the night with you, I'd probably go home shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because well, of his chest I think hair. That you guys are doing amazing, and yes, you should definitely go and see some headshot because I've been following them for so many years. and have roped in many of my friends who yes. were like, up here, 60s man, are you kidding me? And then they go and have the time of their life. So head shop rules, and Peter and Joel, you guys are amazing guys, and <laughs> I had so much Thank fun you. tonight hanging out with you guys before the show, and I hope you guys have an amazing show tonight. Well, thank you. Thanks, thank we you. appreciate it. Thanks, that. Coco. Well, that's, uh... All right, and I know my Uncle Gary from Florida is listening, so I just want to tell him I love him, and... Um, so happy he's doing great down in Florida, and I miss him like crazy. And he needs to come up for a Wednesday night to be on Amsterdam. Exactly. If Gary calls tonight, if Gary uh, calls tonight, we're going to talk about. We the told pic- him. We we're going to talk about the pictures he put up yep. today of his girl, the the girl with the uh, shades on, and yeah, then the one without the shades, the shades off. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. It's the, yeah. His big shades on, shades off photo. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. He should bust his chops. Hey, That'll be too funny. Hey Kelly, I just want to point out we got the best drummer. Anywhere in the state of New Hampshire. Where? <laughs> oh, yeah. The drummer? The drummer. We're talking about now. Pebble Beach sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Oh, We're going to talk about the Pebble right Beach. Right on, uh, darling. Thank you for calling. All right. Love you all. Have a good night. Over and out. Wow. Well, that's... Uh, the cow cow. She's a mental case and a beautiful woman. <laughs> well, According to her, Joel thought that also. Oh, oh, yeah. We got oh, another yeah. caller. Hi, you're Here next you tonight on Amsterdam. <laughs> yes, honey. This is Camel again, and I, this is aimed at Joe. Oh. Hello? Yeah, yeah hello. Where they? You're talking to I, Joe. Yes, and I will be there Saturday, and I will formally introduce myself to you. Have a nice night, and I'll see you Saturday night. <laughs> hey, Camel, are you married? No, she's not married. Oh, okay. 
Okay. All right, well, Moose. She must have saw. Huh? She must have saw Joel's nose. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She wants a. She wants a nose more. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take the quick dive. Wow. Hey, you're my director, John Hill. He's, ha- he's having the time of his life behind us. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all so. He loves Wednesdays. Oh, of, of course. course. He's hanging right. out with Paul Cormier. Of course he's it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, unreal. Uh, uh, wow. Hey, um, I just want to say a big, uh, not a big happy birthday to one of our colleagues here on Channel 23. Oh, boy. Uh, he does the show tomorrow night at 7 o'clock from 7 to night. Uh, <laughs> further review. Happy birthday. I think it's uh, Sunday, uh, uh, Phil Cro- uh, Crowsdale. <laughs> Has he got a birthday? Yeah, I, I think oh, happy Sunday. birthday, Phil. Well, yeah, happy happy he must, happy he must love birthday. getting older. And, and you know what? Of course well, he does. I'm going to tell you something. If you want to make a little money on the side, he makes great predictions about college and pros. You follow his lead, you can make some serious money, guys. Oh. If you're better. Oh, how much yeah, have you right. made? How much if have you made better. so far? Well, well, well I mean, well, we're going okay, yeah. <laughs> Hi, you're next tonight on Manstradam. Hey, guys. Gary down in Florida. <laughs> hey, hey! What are you going on, brother? There I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I don't know if you heard, but we want to talk to you about the photos that you put on Facebook today with the girl. One in that's, uniform. Uh, Tara. That's Tara. That's oh, my girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's yeah. a, uh, she's a uh, deputy sheriff in Manatee County. And, um, now he's talking about the shades and then the no shades. What's that? He was talking about shades and then the no shades. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was funny. That was funny because you... you you're the one that got that. You you were like, oh yeah, sunglasses, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll put up one without sunglasses. Then oh, then yeah. you sh- then you showed us who she really was without sunglasses. Wow, that's right. Right, that's and we're all sitting there like, wow, Gary, lucky guy, very beautiful lady you got there. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I bet you those handcuffs come in. Uh, <laughs> you know, wow, a set of handcuffs. You know, you are the oh, man, yeah. Gary. You are oh, the man. Yeah. Comes to handcuffs. That's funny. A lot of cops and robbers over at Gary's house. Well, you know, you got that that, that little billy club, a little extra oomph. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. That's what they used to say when I was on the police department up in Manchester. Oh, yeah. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's. Hey, no, she's a great girl. She's a great girl. She's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, I'm. I'm gonna uh, keep this this show here. That I'm gonna replay it for her. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll just keep I it. Mean. No, whatever you want to say, just keep it between us, Gary. Hey, Gary, I have a question yeah, for right. Gary. I got a question for <laughs> you. Is is, yeah. is is she right next to you now? No, she's actually that at work right now. Oh, okay, because yeah. uh, because if she was there, we would like to get her on the air and ask her a few questions. We would. What kind oh, of yeah, questions? Well, what kind of what? questions? Well, We'll we'll do that. I'll try to get her next Wednesday. She's I I think she's off next Wednesday, so you know, just we'll, like, we'll we'll do the show next Wednesday. You know what you know what would be the first question I would ask her? How well how <laughs> how, how often does she clean his gun? You know, you, you gotta take I'm the gun out. I'm not touching that line. You gotta take the gun out. You know, you, I'm not I touching it on that. TV. Oh yeah, you, you I see it on in. TV. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. There's you want you want to you want to ask her what she there's thinks. There's a of, process. You want to think. You you want to <laughs> ask her what 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 she thinks of Gary's gun. That's what you're saying. No, how often she cleans the gun. <laughs> Now, see, what? which gun are you talking about? Well, He's got well, more than well, one, you know. Well, I'm talking about the side yeah, well, Which, which, which you gun know. are you talking about? I got a 380, I got a 9mm, I got, I well, got okay. yeah. okay. what, what, what are we doing? Which yeah. is the most powerful gun? And the biggest gun? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You guys are great. Oh. Hey, uh, hey Gary. Gary, a I'm kid. I'm glad to see that you are back with Head Shop and back doing the stuff. Thank you very much. It's like David Lee Roth rejoining Van Halen. <laughs> I know, man. I know. He's down in Florida. He was fighting at the bit to get back up there and do it. 
Oh, yeah. It was, it, we had a little few problems over that thing. But I'll tell you, Gary, I, I want to tell you that there's a kid from Manchester, okay? He got stopped for 136 miles per hour. He's driving Mercedes-Benz, and he blows by a state trooper like he's not going to get caught. What a moron, eh? <laughs> Hey, you know that that actually made it down here in the papers. I read about that. Get out here in the Florida papers. Seriously. Oh my god! And I was like, "What a dope!" What yeah, a dope. Oh yeah. yeah. We Fin all finally, he pulls over, going, mm, "I might be caught." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You think? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, Gary. Now, the other thing I want I want to I want to just say, hey, Kelly. I love you too, girl. And oh, yeah. Come down and see me for crying out loud. Yeah, oh, yeah, she will when she gets some time off. They're thinking about it already. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Uh, That's hey, awesome. Uh, has the rain stopped down there? I know you guys have been getting uh, some serious weather down there. Actually, it's uh, it's actually going to be, from what I'm reading and, and hearing in the papers, uh, it's supposed to stop this weekend. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? So, it's it's uh, we may have one more day of it, and I, I'm hoping it stops because I've got a tea time on Saturday <laughs> with a bunch of guys to go and play the Rich Carlton oh. golf course. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's a good one. Saturday, so it better not rain. That's very elite. Now let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, now, when you play now, now do you have a caddy and somebody carrying your clubs and everything else? <laughs> no, I was just no. curious. <laughs> no, I don't. No, caddies okay. are gone. Oh, yeah, that was the girl in his gone. picture today. Is caddy. Yeah, PGA. I, well, I'll take that back. You can out at the Ritz, out at the Ritz Carlton. You can do that, but you're kidding. Uh, they have caddies there. I'm not, I'm not doing that. You're what? saying they have caddies at where you go to play golf? Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, serious, serious caddies. Yep. What do you mean? Oh, wow. it was serious like they're they're in their twenties, or serious like you've got a teenager telling you what's going down? No, you get guys that like they're in the twenty thirties. You know, I mean, this is where. Uh, oh, I could on. live there. I could you know, be a caddy. On, yeah, on the M you'd be a good NBA. caddy. Oh my uh, god, Dave, uh, what's his name? Um, Dave Ledbetter. Yeah, he's a member out there. Oh yeah, we're actually going to be able to play there. Uh, this weekend. Wow. That is a heck of a golf course you're going to be able to be involved with. I hope the weather treats you nice and don't forget, one putt, one putt. <laughs> that's yeah, that's for sure. But <laughs> you'll see pictures. I'll, I'll put pictures up on uh, Facebook so you guys can see. Oh, I should oh, that's hope great, so. Gary. We yeah. love your Facebook posts. You know what I was thinking? Why don't us three go down for the weekend and play in that tournament, that uh, 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 Nabisco tournament? Yeah, and Gary's dime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, Gary's dime. Can you fly us out on the police <laughs> helicopter and get us down there? <laughs> the Nabisco uh, dime? Yeah. What the heck is the Nabisco dime? What are we, <laughs> what are we gonna eat, dime. Triscuits? No, or you said that's you know, the Bisco? Yeah. So we got to no, eat. No, he's saying because it's. We got to eat Fig Newtons. What are you talking to me about? Oh, I love Because it's called the Ritz. It's called the Ritz. Oh, oh yeah. He, oh, thinks, Ritz. Of, he oh, thinks of the oh, cracker. Ritz. Yeah, it's, it's connected. He with thinks the of the Ritz. cracker oh, when no. you say Ritz. We have to remember Moose has a, a, a demented mind, Gary. So help him out. Yeah, it's Yom, Yom Kippur <laughs> yeah, this week. It's not, right? it's not Ritz crackers. It's a Ritz Carlton Hotels that that owns it, and it's a resort. Yeah. Well, very, very fancy. If Joel went there, he would say, hey, where's the free Ritz cracker? <laughs> <laughs> I well, did. Or as Andy Griffith used to say, yeah. good cracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good. You know, Joel, yes. I'll ask when I get there, I'll ask if they have any crackers for you. Yeah, if you do, can you send them by UPS? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send them yeah. UPS right yeah, now. Yeah, that'll crack them up. The, you know, Gary, you're the best. Wow. Else. Thanks for calling, Gary. Uh, All right, guys. Have right. a great one. Yeah, nice talking to you. Thank you, girl. Right. Uh, Woo. Love uh, you. I bet the first thing that, uh, well, I mean, she, I mean. I, Gary got you she, off guard. Well, 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 his, well, first of all, his girlfriend's beautiful. Then more when she's a Oh, his girlfriend's what? Beautiful. You love his know? girlfriend? No, I don't love the girl. No, just saying, no. I saw a picture with shades, but I was, and boy, those Hank, I mean, wow. I can picture those, uh, those scenes. 
Yeah. See, dominatrix. Now, how does he go right dominatrix. to that? Dominatrix. That's the word I'm trying to think. How does he go right to that? Wow. That was, I, I, wow. Unbelievable. That was uncalled for. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. You like dominatrixes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, if, would I, you like that? Oh, I would love that, getting getting tied He's up. He's a and, spanky and, guy, and, isn't and, he? Uh, getting, you know. Put the duct tape around you. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh great. A, good. Guy ran, for school. Guy. guy ran for school board last yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Just oh, yeah. missed oh, my yeah. chances. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now oh, yeah. we know where he's really going. <laughs> now we know. You're running against Keith Hirschman? Uh, oh, uh, he's I'm ready for stuck. the seepage, leakage, drippage, <laughs> and pillage right, right there. Right out there. there. Oh, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying anything, but... Uh, oh, my God. I don't know. I'm, I'm still waiting my options. Well, oh, really? Oh, yeah. You know, why are you talking about stuff like that? Why do you think about going to see the soup Nazi? Yes. Right here at the Bridge... Uh, Bridge Cafe. Bridge Cafe, Okay. Uh, they're doing a thing for the big brothers and big sisters, and you go in, you order your soup, and uh, if you don't order it right, out service, thank you. But no, it, <laughs> they're gonna, they're, they're all gonna be in character. It's all about the soup Nazi thing, and uh, it, it'll be uh, really special. And it's right here, uh, you know, right around the corner of Bridge and Elm, uh, the uh, Bridge Cafe. And they'll be doing the soup, and it's. Uh, I'm trying to see. Bridge Cafe. When that first opened up, that was the. It was a bar called What Ails Ya. Wasn't, yeah. 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 Wasn't that the episode uh, on on? Uh, yeah, on Jerry Seinfeld. Steinfeld. That's what they're the, talking the, about. Yeah, oh, Jerry oh, who? Oh, Steinfeld. Yeah. Oh, Jerry Steinfeld. Jerry Steinfeld. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know him, Jerry Steinfeld. I don't know who that is. So uh, yeah, so it's <laughs> it's the Bridge Cafe. Just call them and let them know. Uh, they'll let you know when it's happening. It's uh, this week sometime. Yeah, it's Saturday, I believe. Is it Saturday? I, I, okay. I read that also. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so, soup. That'd Nazi. be great. Yeah. yeah and yeah, it, you know, the funny thing that. about it is they have great soup. Really? But they're gonna do this as a fundraiser. Are they are they for, serving uh, soup? Imagine that, yes. Wow. All the, everything from what chicken noodle. The corner uh, of uh, Bridge Bridge and McGregor. No, it's uh, right around the corner from Bridge and Elm, the Bridge Cafe. You know, it's on they, Elm Street? they got the, uh, the, the... Is it on the, the west side or the east side? No, no, it's Bridge and Elm, which is... The east side. They got the bank and then the Bridge Cafe right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's oh, the, the Bridge one. Cafe. I'm yes. sorry. I get, I get, <coughs> yeah. it. I get, right I get that mixed up with something. I apologize. And they've been, you know, doing this kind of stuff for a long time. But this is a fundraiser again. So don't be ashamed to uh, don't find be out about to it. to go there. That's right. <laughs> uh, big Brothers and Big Sisters they're Good doing. Good food at the Bridge Cafe. Yeah. Yes. And soup. <laughs> really? Wow. Oh. Yeah, lentil all the way to chicken noodle or uh, what's my favorite? Is it free uh, samples? You like <laughs> no free samples for you, you What's mental your case. Soup Order drink? the soup or you're thrown out. I'm actually wondering what your favorite soup is. Uh, really, if you tomato choose, basil, really, but but I put hamburg in it, steak and bacon. Well, that, is that soup? Yeah, it's a meal. <laughs> <laughs> in the winter time, I like a nice thick clam chowder. Yeah, I'm I not. love thick clam chowder. Yeah, you know who got the That's best the in the can? Campbell's. Well, I know best of the best. I'm out of the can, man. Yeah, you go. Uh, yeah. Try that tea. No, I know. Oh, yeah. You'd be uh, satisfied. No I doubt. I don't think so. You do the real I'll deal. I'll give you back your money, whatever you paid for, if you don't like that soup. I will try it just for you. Okay. Campbell's, no, but it's Campbell's. You're not regular Campbell's. You like the, the, the meat. Chunky. It's yeah, chunky. chunky. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, well, make up your best. mind. Are you telling no, me no, the truth Campbell, or not? Well, I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, Campbell's chunky. Right. Are they Good. real clams? Yes. Yeah. And the key is... Don't get the expensive oysterettes. Get the get the market basket one for ninety nine cents. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't go to market basket. Oh. Yeah, Tina's so, like this. I'll We've bring talked a, about this before. Next week, here's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm there like six days. I'm I'm gonna bring in uh, a ma uh, uh, a I'm, can. I'm bringing in. I'm bringing you a can of super oysterettes next uh, next Wednesday. And I will try it. And I will <laughs> critique it. <laughs> and if it sucks, that's great. you will know. You but if it's it, great, you will right also you know. <laughs> you write right right you on it, team. I am most certainly next will. week. Wow. It'll be <laughs> Chef De Jure Tibbets. So you like <laughs> you like uh, clam chowder and you like tomato yeah. basil. Now, speaking of chefs, okay, anytime you get a chance to go by the Davion, oh, Mark, 
does a great job. I mean, I had clam I had, chowder. No clam. Yes, clam chowder. I had macaroni, lobster. Okay. Oh my freaking <laughs> word! Like the, macaroni and lobster, macaroni and cheese. Yes, macaroni and cheese with lobster. <clears throat> I, you get the thing. It's monster. I had three meals out of it. And it is jam packed with lobster. You're a big I, fan of lobster. I like lobster. Yeah, but I like anything that's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, but we I'll wouldn't. tell you, well, we all do. this guy, <laughs> this guy, Mark, does a great job. You don't have to be a member. Just go in and order the food. Where Ring is this the bell. place? Uh, the I know where it is. On Wilson Street. Davios? Yeah, the Davion. No, the Davion Club. Oh, Davi. Oh, okay. Davion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Wilson fantastic. Street. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic food. Really? I'll take you there so you know. Because you don't know the city, Moose. No. You know, you're kind of out of Because you're from Chelsea. Right, I'm out You really of, don't know the inner workings yeah. of the Manchesterans. That definitely has a history. That's yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. That, that, that. But I mean monster food. All right. Let's move on. What do we want to do now? Do you, hey, to you know, I got a question for you. And, uh, and, and, uh, oh, boy. And, and you know what? And the callers can call in and they can uh, voice their opinion on this question. Oh, I hope so. And the question is that, uh, that I'm going to throw out is, which famous person would you like most like to invite over for dinner? Share. In the, oh, oh, really? <laughs> but she'll never I, show up because uh, she canceled two concerts. I know. She Manchester. canceled two concerts. Poor Cher. So She's was, out there. So with all the famous people out there, Cher is number one. Oh, I've loved Cher. Uh, I had no idea. As much as I've loved my As wife. much as Sonny did. Hallelujah. Of course, Keith Moon. I'd love to, you know, have a dinner with him. How about you, really? Peter White? Yeah. Oh, geez. Uh, dinner with anybody? Yeah. Anybody in the world. And, oh. and you know what? And then I'm going to give you my five choices. Well, I hope you don't say, oh, you have five. Uh, I, I got five. <laughs> I thought about this. And I'm going to give you my five. If the callers want to call in, a I would definitely like to have dinner. Uh, give us a call and tell us uh, uh, what person out there famous would you like to call? Thought you were asking me, okay, not yeah, the callers. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm asking both. <laughs> well, can I finish my? my well, no, uh, you already asked me, and then you went on to something else. I know, but I want to turn out to the callers, then I was going to get back to you. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. What's the question? Uh, which famous person would you like to have over for dinner? Oh, I would, the, I would love world. to have. I think I would love to have Mike Mike D and Adam Horvitz from the Beastie Boys. Really? Ah! Yeah, that, would, that would be my first choice. When you said Mike D, I thought it was going to be Mike Doyle. No, Mike Doyle. Brooklyn. Okay, Mike D. Uh, I'm going to the yeah. back room with Mike Doyle in the in the near future, so I don't need yeah. to. Yeah, say I that. hope That's I'm right. going yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, he owes us dinner. I'm 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 assuming he'll call in with the next five minutes. Yes. But so, yeah, brother. from the back room. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you my choices. I'm not that, done uh, yet. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. Okay, here's. Okay, I'm gonna start with five and then work up to number one. Oh great! Okay. Let's see the top five okay. people okay, for number dinner. Five, Most no is doubt. top five. Hold on. Let's make it interesting. Hey, John, can you play a little uh, background music? <laughs> now you know Derek Jeter is one of them. He's oh a my Yankees God. Fan. Yeah, you know he's going to drool and cry about that. No, I'm because not going to drool. The, 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 the season is over. He did an outstanding job, even at Fenway. We he ended with a base hit. Awesome. Derek Jeter. We can put Derek Jeter uh, in the background. You know, it's funny you most, brought that up. He, yeah. he ended his career with a base hit in yeah. Fenway, and he ended his career at, at, at with Yankee a walk Stadium, off at Yankee Stadium. A walk yep. off at Yankee and, Stadium. And you know what? I'll give you another tidbit about the Yankees. Oh, you're saying tidbits? Oh, tidbits. Oh, how you been? Tidbits. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? There won't be any other Yankee from now until eternity that's going to wear a single number on, on, on the Yankees' back of their shirts. Derek Jeter was birthday. the last Crowsdale, number everybody. till. Uh, uh, number two, there'll be from from ten up. There'll be no single digit number on on Yankee. Because they're all shirts. retired. That's correct. Wow. Yeah, and Jeter will be the next one too. Nice. Get retired. Nice. Jeter. Yeah. So, uh, getting back to my question, which famous person would you most likely to invite <laughs> over? Okay, number five. You're right, T. Derek Jeter. Yeah, yeah. Number five. Yeah, number yeah. five. Yeah. Number okay. four. Clint Eastwood. Oh, Clint. That's your background music. You gotta love him. So you say number four. <laughs> Clint Eastwood's great. I John, think Clint Eastwood's decent. Oh, yeah. Clint I would have, I would have liked to meet him when he was younger because he kind of like you know has a headache now. Yeah. But what's N next? Number three, Stephen King. Oh, geez, he lives right up the road in Maine. That's Is right. Is that Jimmy King's father? <laughs> I wish. I don't know. Stephen King lives a famous 
Yeah, he writes books. Oh, the guy from Maine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The guy, he, the guy, he looks like he hit his head once. Yeah, I don't know. He had a bad car accident. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Okay. Excellent, yeah. excellent writer. I Chuko right. or whatever. He's yeah. fine. Stephen King's yeah. fine. Who's number, next? number two would be Bill Clinton. Oh, Never easy. Bill, Bill Clinton? Clinton? Yeah, imagine you talking oh, about I was going to talk about else. sex and, all that, and yeah. how many condoms do you use. I'm all set with Bill Clinton. Yeah. He's, Dave, he's, uh, he's a mental case. This penis must be... No, it's his like What? This. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I was hoping to have Bill Clinton didn't on the you show. See the, you, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, guys, I guess okay. you guys just about, ruined that. And a little drum roll. How about, how about the Pope? The Pope I talked to. Really? He's a hot ticket. This particular Pope. Of course, I always... Pope John the Twenty Third was monster for me. I thought he was the best. He really opened up the world. So this Pope, Benedict Francis, could do what he's doing. Without him, it's not him. You like Pope John him. Paul the best? The second? Pope? No, no. Pope John the Twenty Third was monster. Where was he? Uh, back in the sixties. Oh, oh okay. yeah. He was a, he was a hot ticket. <clears throat> Excuse me, but he really helped the world. But go ahead. I think Pope Francis, he gets it. He likes he's to, on it. He likes yes. to work the crowd. Yeah. And yeah, you know, he's not afraid of holding up babies and and just. Uh, I think he's well, like. <laughs> I think he's just like us. Well, I don't care if he holds up babies. No? Okay, because that's a little crap. Well, over. happy Yom Kippur to you, know? you this weekend, by the way. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night. Uh, you know so much about the Pope. Why? Well, no. Are you listening to his said, message? He no. He <laughs> just said um, about. The violence of religion, and he talked the whole program about what, if you have, or you're in a religion, and you're talking about, you know, uh, the brotherhood or the goodness of your religion. Why are you violent? Yeah, you know. So it's very good. I love that guy. What do you think causes he's, the most he's wars? He's doing a great job. He's oh, doing absolutely. A great job. What do you oh, think yeah. causes the most wars? Religion. It does. It's you sad know, to say. It, it, it really know. does. Really? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's well, why there's some fighting over there. That's why we shouldn't be over in Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Israel, all this stuff. Let them fight their brains out and, you know, why don't we take care of the homeless over here? You know, I and, never uh, gave it that thought about religion causing wars. Yeah. 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 Really, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah you've well. been to Israel, haven't you? Have not. Oh, I thought Great you had. Great move. No, no, no. You might not make it back. No, but my, <laughs> but my parents been there. Yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it's like... Uh, it's like what they call races, oh, you know, from the NAF. <laughs> you know, this is a memo from What's the, the NAF. For people the NAF is know. the New Action Front. And uh, they had an uh, editorial that said, uh, So you hate other people so bad you must degrade them with your words? Is it because you can't think of anything else in your life to take care of, like caring for your own family or relatives? Maybe have a positive attitude and stop whining or sobbing about your inadequacies to be happy with what you got and not point the finger at someone else. No, because you are weak. So now get strong. Decide to change your life. Think of something happy. Join the NAF. So this is an well, editorial from them. Are you a member the of the NAF? I'm, I am a member of the NAF. The really? New, the New Action Front. They all wear Orioles hats? No, they don't. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to be uh, together. Uh, I think you're Everyone on has the, to be individual. I think you're jumping on the bandwagon. Just because... It, well, the it, what wagon? Just, the bandwagon. Yeah, just I, because I that they're from wagon. the East doesn't mean that... Uh, and I'm, uh, no, I'm, I'm jumping. Just, I'm just... I'm just I'm just furious. Are they Yankees that, fans? You're furious? He's you're wearing furious? That, I'm furious that he's wearing that like, hat. There it's is really furious. no Yankees, no Red Sox. What do we have? Baltimore Orioles. Thank you, know, you very much. You know something? I'm glad you brought that up. I okay? believe I did. Because I'm going to tell you something, guys. Well, tell us. Why don't you tell someone else? This caller right here. All right, here we go. You're next tonight on oh, me. Oh, it's only Camel. This will be the last time, but I want to tell you my five that I would like to meet. Okay. Okay? Yep. I would love to meet Eric Clapton. Awesome. Nice. Yes, Cher. Oh, oh of course. Of course you and say Kevin, Cher. Yes, Kevin Durant. Wow. And, yes, Clint Eastwood, because he's been my favorite actor for years. And Jim Morrison, I would have loved. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. like that picture with his hair. Right? Can have uh, whiskey with right. him. Hey, I gotta, All right, you guys have a nice wait, night. That was only four. Wait, wait a minute. Okay. Don't hang up, Carla. I got a question that for you. That was only four. Hello, you still there, Carla? Okay. She can't stand it. She can't stay on the line. No, long she, enough. she doesn't want to talk to him. He's a moose. Well, I was going to ask her if any of it. She gave us the top five, right? Yeah. No, was, top four. T- no, top five. Okay, then what were they? Okay. See if you can remember. Uh, yeah, well, Eric Clapton. Okay. Uh, uh, um, Clint Eastwood. Uh, Clint, that's right, Clint yep. Eastwood. Um, uh, 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 Kevin Durant. Yep. Yes. And um, Mother Teresa. Mother no, Teresa. No, didn't say Mother Teresa. I know. I just made that up. <laughs> uh, 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 Rabbi Schwartz. No. <laughs> no. She said one more. She didn't say five. She only said four. Okay. So I forget uh, what the fourth one is. Let's Maybe, rip okay. it up. Call you on the air. Here we go. Amsterdam. Okay, honey. Here's Camel. I oh. am listening. Well, what do you want to ask? Hey, I want to uh, ask Camel. you number one. You only gave us four. No, I did not. I gave you Eric Clapton, Cher, Kevin Durant, Clint Eastwood, and Jim Morrison, honey. That oh, Jim is Mar- five. That now, is six okay. now. Go, go, trim it down a little bit. Now, Camel, let me ask you this. With, with Tibbetts, okay. White, and the Moose, do, does any of us make the top ten in your list? You could. T does. Okay, and and who would that be? Or oh. It could be multiple. It could be. She already said she was going to introduce herself to you. Well, that's true. So why don't you just, you know, why don't you just talk to her and, you know, make the connection now? Yeah, see us on Saturday at Salonis. What's your problem? Yeah, Salonis. Okay, well, if she's going to be there, I'll be there. I'll even buy you a beverage. Huh. Wow, that never happens. Well, okay, thanks. <laughs> so, wow, yeah, 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 you're right, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Holy smokes, 1045. You're well, watching Manstradam. Give us a call at 413-0223. Don Tibbetts. Hey, nice Pebble Hi, Beach. Ben. Nice Pebble Beach shirt, man. Thank yeah. you very much. What's the story behind this? A lot of people have been calling and uh, they want to ask uh, us what's the story behind the sweatshirt. Well, I, I you know, I got it in Florida uh, <laughs> at Goodwill really? for 299. But <laughs> two dollars and ninety nine cents? No, right? seriously. What happened was I, I, I played in a golf tournament at uh, Wentworth by the Sea, uh, which is uh, very. <laughs> I played with a, uh, a, a corporate guy and the former mayor of Dover. And the mayor of Dover was upset about a house that he was doing. He's a real estate guy, too, right? Right. And he was upset. He was only getting $900,000 for it because he thought he was going to get $1.1 million. I go, hey, you know, you're having a bad day. Get over it. You know? <laughs> but the, the funny thing about Pebble Beach is the corporate guy, he was out in California, and he had a chance to play at Pebble Beach, and he had his uh, tea time. Well, what happened was he stumbled off a curb and hurt his knee, went to the emergency room, and the doctor talked to him and says, ah, you know, it'll be all right, but, you know, he says, uh, well, you know, well, I have a tea time tomorrow at 2 o'clock at Pebble Beach. He says, oh, man, you're going to make that. I got a brace for you. So he pulls out this special brace for the guy so he actually had a chance to play Pebble Beach. Oh, you wow, know? that's great. You know, it's crazy because you can't, you know, I mean, it's Pebble tough Beach to play is second it, you know to none, I mean? you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it's first really, class for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no Hole 17. Wow. Well, no, well, no you ever if hit, I had a chance uh, to play that, I'd be out of my mind. It'd be so funny. You know, especially going to the island. Where yeah, you think you can do it? Dino almost got a, a hole yeah, in do you, one. Do you think you could? You think I can you, hit a ball. I'll can you hit a ball on that little island at Hole 17 at Pebble Beach? Yeah, because it's not that far. It's only like 157. What is it, John O'Neill? Oh, sorry, pal. Yeah. No, it's like one uh, one fifty five. Oh, I mean, Pebble uh, Beach is the one I know. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay, okay. okay. He yeah. say bring enough uh, single dollars if you're gonna go out. John, the one they play at yeah. Pebble Beach, the one uh, the 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 Bill Murray one with the the pro am. Yeah, that's the pro am. Okay. Yeah. So bring your dollar bills when you that's go down right. there. So the Capistran five K is happening uh, this weekend. This on weekend, Saturday. big one. Yeah. yeah, it's a third annual five K fun walk with kids run. Okay. And uh, the kids start at 9, followed by the 5K run at 10. Uh, you know, early administration. So uh, don't be afraid to g- sign up online at milliamreg.com slash Luke Capistran dash Memorial 5K. A great thing to be involved with. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Just to let you know. 
Awesome. Very good. I got, a weird, I got a weird story. That I uh, well, yeah, yeah, you sure do. You have a weird <laughs> voice, too. <laughs> you have a weird story? I can't believe that, Moose. Why didn't you tell us? Now, this happened in Philadelphia. Oh, I thought it was okay, about so your I, nostril hair. No, because I, cause, okay. uh, before the show, sometimes I talk to Peter what's going to be happening. Mm. So I always say to Peter... Uh, T always does the local news, and I do the I do I I do the out of state news. The international news. Yeah, so you cover Manchester yes. and beyond, and I cover from Boston to Siberia. Well, oh that's really? What What's going on in Siberia? Tell us what the hell you doing then, oh, brother? Siberia's bad. Uh, if if you want to go on a cruise, now's the time to book a nice trip to Siberia. I'm all set with that. Really? Yeah. You know why? It's close to Russia. Yeah, but we're not at war with Russia. Who cares? I ain't going over there. Yeah. You out of your mind? T, when he was a kid, he used to have to have uh, nuclear bomb drills and hide under his desk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I laugh. It's so funny. If you have one Am of I those right? old posters. Am I right? Yeah. I, I, those old posters. I'm in a Catholic school here. Just go under your desk. Oh, sure. It's a nuclear bomb. What do you mean go under your desk? <laughs> you're dead. Well, but, not if you're no, under your desk. Tell us about your story, Moose, though. Okay, so this, so, so this guy was armed with a banana. Oh, that's... Yeah, imagine that. Okay. You mean a real banana yeah, or his yeah, own banana? Yeah, with a banana, robs okay. a Philly store, and then splits. Okay? <laughs> this, again, it said, happened to Philadelphia. A man armed with a banana, robbed a convenience store in Philadelphia, and rode away on... A, so he splits? Rode, he, he rode away on a bicycle. With cash, yeah, he splits like a like a banana, <laughs> right? Like a banana split. So he stole, <laughs> so he stole cash oh. and cigarettes, and he rode away in the sunset on the bike on now, his bicycle. And he wasn't caught, as uh, far as I know. No, I haven't. Boy, done. he can oh. pedal like a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> the mother stole. <laughs> Oh, my freaking Well, word. if we hear anything on that story, we'll Love. give you an update oh, a little later on the show. Check you on that. No, oh, uh, no, no, no. Now, there's a lot of things that's that's been happening and talk of, of the news and everything else. One is obviously, what the hell is wrong with the Patriots? Okay, that's the first Oh, thing. they're done. You think they're done? Put the fork in, in Brady. When he, I don't think uh, not this last game, the game before, when he missed Gronkowski alone, here's a man who has a, a he's like an albatross. He's a 10, 12-foot human, and he passed it six feet beyond. No, he dropped the ball. No, no, we never yeah. even got to him, you it, moron. It, it went right Don't off his fingers. You're no, full no. of crap. Look at the oh, you're, crap. You're, I you're, saw you're, that fucking... You're no, talking no, about... I saw oh, no, 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 you're way out of line on this one. Brady part. sucked last no, year. No, you just he dropped it. He sucked worse this year. It's over. Don't even tell me about He dropped the ball. You're no, lying. No, you're no, lying. No, no, look at the tape. I'll show you the replay. I'll show you the replay. You're full of crap. You guys are not even arguing. You're arguing for the same thing. You both are saying Brady sucks now. Full of crap. No, he's saying that... You're arguing. He's saying that the ball should have been caught. I said that he dropped the ball. There was no droppage. He missed him by What's, six John, feet alone. Let me, no. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah. I'm talking about the real play. I'm talking about with the one that Brady threw the ball in the end zone. I'm talking about 2001 oh. against Oakland in the snow. He's talking about the play. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm talking about not this game, the game before, when I said he was already dead. This game, he was dead. He could not hit a player. Tom Brady could not get a pass to anyone. Yeah, because and they, and they're the people all saying surrounding about him, the people surrounding all, him are, 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 are Everyone doing it. in the sports world is saying because the front line is not giving him time. Correct. I'm saying he can't see the receivers. He can't get the ball. Oh, you there. think Tom Brady he's needs making, glasses? Tom Brady is done. He cannot see what he's doing. He cannot know what he's doing. He chooses the wrong person all the time. He throws through double coverage. If he's throwing a double coverage, guess what? Somebody's open. Why aren't you seeing that as a quarterback? His career is over. I don't know. I don't think he has the tools. It's over. It's not well, over. Well, first of all, you're right. I, on, on one point, you're right about the offensive line. And number two, the only, the only receiver he has out there is, 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 is uh, Edelman. Okay, forget. I that's mean, that's baloney. He has a lot more receivers. He can't get the ball to anybody. Are you kidding me? And why don't they run the ball more? Ever since Walker, Terrible. ever since Walker left, and it's and, Welker, uh, Welker first of all. And, Welker, and, and, and especially uh, Makins uh, this year. Woodhead, and uh, that he, he just doesn't have any. No. Where, do they, where, where does the Patriot? Uh, Last year he was terrible. This year he's worse. I'm telling you, that's it. 
Why he, uh, surrender? I don't think so. Number surrender. one, number one is. I'll tell you if, he, if you think if any of these Patriots fans out there think Tom Brady can still do it, he's got to do it against the Bengals. They're three and zero. Oh, yeah, the Bengals coming, are hot. They're coming right now to it's bury fine. the Patriots. Now, are you, you think the Patriots all of a sudden going to rise up? I do. And Tom Brady's all of a sudden going to have eyeballs and actually pick a receiver that's open? I do. I say no. I because do. Because they couldn't get a receiver that was open last year. He's not going to hit a receiver that's open this year. He's done. The fork's in his head. It's over. He just doesn't. He should join the players. Orioles. He, he doesn't have. <laughs> he just doesn't have the players. He doesn't have the personnel. And you don't need players, okay? You're he, the quarterback. I never thought he had moves. You need players to catch yeah, the ball. Ball already. And I never need, thought he had the ball to and, the player. And you need and you need players to throw to. Wow. I never thought Moose would be ball sticking Lonnie. up for uh, Tom Brady. Ball That's for sure. The this guy thinks Bart Starr is the best ball quarterback the in history. You have to throw the ball so the receiver can them. catch it. You can't throw it over here. You can't throw it over here and hope and pray. Oh, please catch it. No. It has to be right here in the numbers, right here in the hands. Yeah. Brady ain't doing it. It's over. Go on. As soon as they lost Deion Branch, Welker, Mankins, and whoever else. Mankins. I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter who lost Mankins. He already is in, injured in the first game he played. He was done. He's done for the season already for yeah, the Yeah, you're right. I think some of those plays that they get from the dollar store. <laughs> 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 I really don't. That's, That's good. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, good. Yeah, oh, they're, uh, yeah, they're lying. I, I, I bet you tomorrow uh, uh, Phil and, uh, and, and the big guy, uh, Mike, uh, We'll talk about that. A lot, a lot of talk oh, about man, that. I got to call in yeah, on that so one. So 7 to 8 tomorrow. 7 to 8 tomorrow. Review. No so, Mike D tonight, huh? Yeah, he's hey. probably swimming maybe. Got the, hey, what uh, about, got the heated pool on. Got the heated pool, yeah. What about entertainment? The sitting ducks are playing at Z <laughs> Zabos, of which I haven't been to yet on Depot Street. They're playing tomorrow at 9. Uh, Is it Zabos? Yeah. and then No, I think it's something else. And then, uh, no, it's Zabo. 24 it, Depot Street. Zabos? Manch, yeah. They're out of Manchester. They've been playing since the 2009. Dual piano thing. They're a blues rock funk thing. They get good energy. And then uh, tomorrow night is teleportation session with our own friend DJ Midas. Yeah, that's been going on for weeks and weeks uh, and months. I don't know. I, I, I'm going tomorrow night to see the experience. Yeah, it's yeah, good. You want to it's good stuff. Going on. Is that a uh, yeah, Tacoma? Yeah, Tacoma. got Renee, the, the Renee Band of Friends. And Saturday night, DEF CON at Mad Bob's. Of course, Head Shop is at Salonis. And poor Cher, postponed again. <laughs> but the, Did you again, have tickets to go see Cher? Uh, they, they, uh, I would love to see her, yeah? but I've already seen it twice. So I'm if good. you could Good turn show, back to <laughs> uh, Again, we want to plug uh, the New England Roadshow with Bill Sturgis, weekly on YouTube and, of course, here at Channel 23. Like him on Facebook, New England Racing Show at Comcast.net. The awesome. England Racing Show is on right after this show. Yeah, it's taped, he's but great. it's on right he's after. Great. We're the last Billy live Sturgis. show. Yeah. Yeah. John, is the New England Racing Show still on after us? Yeah. Okay. You know, Thanks, uh, John. Let's do a big Neil. shout out. Uh, let's make the rounds around town to uh, mm. McGarvey's with. Uh, with your uh, Michelle. McGarvey's with the lovely Michelle. Let's all do it. Let's Ross all pick Randy one. Let's yeah. all pick one and okay. say hi to. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. You, know. you started. You said McGarvey's? Uh, no, I, well, McGarvey's. Okay, so Okay, so it's my turn. No, no, no. Well, let me have another turn. I didn't no, know you, you gonna, started it. Well, I didn't know you were going to do this. Well, so I'm doing it. I want a second chance. Okay, well, you, you can be fifth now. <laughs> okay, good. You ahead. just went first. Okay, so ask I'm going to say hi to everyone over at The Pint. Okay. Yeah. Good. Of course, the lovely Dawn. Uh, you know, very, very fun. But, of course, Maggie's, you know, where the people are walking. Maggie's. Around. Maggie's, yeah, with yep. uh, Robbie Young. And, now uh, it's yeah. your turn, Moose. Well, we, uh, two shout-outs. Can I do two? No, only one. Okay. We're taking turns. Okay. Keep going. Uh, to, Keep going. Um, um, yeah. To um, uh, up in Hanover Street. Uh, what's the what, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chuck yeah, Landis? Yeah, Chuck, yeah. Panucci's? Yeah, Panucci's. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, Panucci's. We got to coach him uh, through uh, a thinking thing yeah. like that. On, on, oh, on yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go yeah. ahead and say Magic uh, Mirror, uh, everybody uh, out there. Well, Davion, say hello great, to yeah. say hello to my friend's pub. Yeah, my friend's pub. Love those guys yeah, over they're, there. They're, they're so much fun. Yeah, that's, yeah, I have to get there and everything else. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're not allowed. But, no um, juice. Where is that? Right on Silver and Maple Street. Very good. My friend's pub. Yeah, right across nice. from Salonas, yep. where Head Shop will be. My Salonas. 
<laughs> Do you know that, that? No, we're still going. Oh, again, go. Do we have? No, it's uh, T's turn. Oh, my turn. Oh, okay, I, then oh, I'm okay. doing this. Okay, here's a little <laughs> thing. Have you ever heard a sound that was so profound that it made you? Hold on, T. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you we off. Gotta cut off. But this is official T-ism, correct? Yes. All right, John. We're gonna do this T-ism. We're gonna call it a night. What do we have? A few minutes left. Yeah, got about yeah, two minutes. minutes. Oh, we got two minutes. Rip it out. Yeah. This is an official. Yeah, this is a, this is a this is official a, MFTism. Uh, the Tism uh, from the old T. So here we go. Have you ever heard a sound that was so profound that it made you want to listen? That's what happens now. It's a beat with a pow. Music fills what you're missing. Let the body move. You must feel the groove. It's what helps the soul be alive. Rock to what you like. To your delight, let your karma give you no jive. Make it all work for you, cause that's how it goes. Music from your head to the toes. So nice to hear and enjoy, kind of an aura, kind of a piece, something like a great toy. So listen, I will, better than a pill. Music great on a beautiful day. Enjoy when you can all that you hear. With music, life can be okay. Wow, that oh, is, that's good. a. I didn't know you were into prose. Well, I, I'm a mental. You're case. a writer. <laughs> you well, are a writer, nice. John Hopwood. I wonder what he thought about that. Well, oh, he okay. wants me to write for him politically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got uh, 30 seconds. T. Last word. Hey, the last Peter. word is uh, don't be afraid to have fun with yourself. And you're playing where Saturday night? And what's Salonis. that? Salonis. Salonis. Salonis, Peter White. Peter White not doing anything this weekend. I'll see you next Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, for T, for White, the Moose, Dry Safe. We'll see you next time.